Hey guys, Robert here with Coastal GX, and uh, today we're not at the beach, obviously. We're back at home trying to get up, get out, and do something, and today we're gonna do something, but it's gonna be out of my driveway here. And uh, I've always wanted to try uh, one of these products, uh, one of those awnings that you see in a lot of these uh, overlanding vehicles. Up to this point, I, I really didn't think that there was a need for it. I always used a simple canopy Everything was fine there, but it's, it's, they're very bulky and it's just very cumbersome. And I had a bad experience the last time I went to the beach. Um, you know, it was my fault, but you know, strong gust of wind, picked it up, put it on its, uh, on its top and basically destroyed it. And I couldn't use it any longer. So this time around, I was, uh, I was taking a look at some things and I, I went ahead and I bought some things off of Ironman uh, 4x4 USA. And one of the things that, uh, that piqued my interest because of the value and, and the simplicity of using it was their awning. So I went ahead and did that. I already have an existing, my existing roof rack is a, is a front runner Slimline 2 uh, uh, roof rack. And for that, I went ahead and I went to their website and I ordered some brackets, some of these brackets that are gonna allow me to easily mount mount them up there. I might need Robbie's help, my son's help, in a little bit in order to actually get it up there. So hopefully we can get this done today and uh, maybe even put it out to the test before the sun goes down. So let's cross our fingers and let's see if that happens. So I already took the liberty of opening the package. Uh, what comes inside is this awning from Iron Man. I forget, I think it's a 2.5 meter, but I'll go ahead and leave you know, the information on the screen here. Uh, it came with these other brackets. I don't know if I'm gonna need to use them. I'm gonna put them off to the side right now and uh, see how that works. And it comes with these tether lines that allow it to, uh, you know, secure and, and, and give me a second. I think I have a buddy of mine showing up over here. Is that you, Greg? Okay, so anyway, okay, so Got it, uh, already opened up the, the cardboard here. I just got to remove this plastic from it. And um, as you can see, we got these uh, tether, tether lines right here. It also came with some hardware. I don't know if we're gonna be, have to use these or we'll be using the hardware that came from Front Runner. Uh, these are the little stakes that it comes with. Um, they might not really helped me much on, on the sand. I have some others that are better at the sand, but still it comes with the hardware. And uh, so now let's get this thing ready. So here's something uh, I want to talk about. When I called Front Runner, uh, I asked him, should I place the brackets on the awning first and then Put it on the rack or should I place the brackets on the rack first and then attach the awning to it? Um, I've heard 50-50% but I'm going to go with the nice gentleman from Front Runner uh, who was able to tell me, you know, at least his opinion said was, look, put the brackets, you might want to put the brackets on the awning first and then get someone to help you as you put them up on the rack. So we'll give it a try that way. Okay, so like I said, there's two ways of doing it, you know, and I'm still gonna have to do this, but I'm gonna have to run um, a total of six uh, nuts that come from the hardware from a uh, front runner up in the, um, in the roof rack, but I'm gonna do that a little later. I think I'm gonna concentrate first on installing the bracket on uh, on these things right here. It's, it's three of them that are gonna be aligned and I'm gonna kinda put them at a certain distance from each other. And so I'm gonna start with that. Guys, uh, Iron Man does provide you with the hardware uh, needed. Um, they even include this uh, 10 millimeter uh, uh, ratchet right here, which is pretty neat. Uh, the only thing that I notice is that they don't have any washers. I don't see any washers in their hardware. I guess that you don't really need them. They are 
it look seem to be nylock there so it's probably not a requirement or they don't feel that it's necessary uh, to use them and uh, with um, front runner they include it also but with them they do include as you can see they include the the bolt and they include the nut but they also include a washer so that's uh, something to think about now I don't know which one is longer this is the bolt that this is the bolt that um, uh, Iron Man provides you with and uh, this is the one provided by front runner seems to be just a little just a little slightly shorter so it all depends on you know which one works best and then I'll decide that way so I'm so glad that front runner provided <laughs> provided some hardware because check this out so yeah what I forgot to count on was that um, Iron Man only provided a total of eight bolts only eight of these bolts right here so I still need and of course I have three of these so I'm still gonna need another four bolts from uh, front runner and I'm glad that they have them so the last one over here this last bracket is gonna have to use the front runner hardware Now what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to tighten them like crazy. I'm just going to hand tighten these guys right here because I still don't know exactly where they're going to be up there. But here we go. I decided to do is just uh, measure it up, you know, the side of the of the roof rack, and now I am going to measure in between, make sure that I have like, equal spacing. So that's uh, about 22 inches right here. From the front runner uh, hardware, we identified these. Well, they identify them as M8 nuts right here these nylon nuts and these right here you have to have the threaded side up and we are going to install them in the rail on the top rail of the front runner uh, roof rack and that's going to be the place where we're going to be um, securing the, bra the brackets to so that's the next step so if you can see this little rail on top that's where we're going to place these uh m8 nuts right in through there okay that's going to be from the top side that's going to be two for each uh bracket so this is what i found out um i had already i can't i can't put six of them through here i can't do six right here and let me show you why there go there it goes on the rail but then I encounter this thing right here and it won't allow me to continue. That's not going to allow me to continue. Uh, so this, this is going to work, but it's only going to work for the rear part. It's only going to work for the rear part of the, of the bracket, the first bracket. We already ran the M8 nuts through the top and that's going to be, see these right here, these slightly longer ones, the ones with a the hex, these are going to go through the top and we already ran the bolts up there i mean the the nuts over there so we're going to simply line them up and then we're going to tighten them up from the bottom that is for these longer ones and then you're going to notice that they have these button bolts right here and this is also going to be paired up with an m8 nut and the m8 nut we're going to drive it in there obviously like this through the rail of the of the slimline 2 rack and this one it's only going to be one from the bottom 
that's the way it's going to look it's going to be difficult to videotape up there so i wanted to show you guys so this is basically going to be laying like this through the through the slimline uh two rack through the roof rack and then you're going to have this bolt come from the bottom so it's two on top one from the bottom So this is this is what we're talking about guys you see right here we're gonna do two on top and one right here at the bottom and uh, Robbie over there he's putting the finishing touches right about there on those two and then we're gonna need those other two and one at the bottom and we'll be doing fine we'll go ahead and uh then we'll go ahead and test it but i don't think we're gonna have enough sunlight and we're really hungry so i think we're probably gonna wrap this up and uh we're gonna continue with a demo with a review tomorrow it's the day after the install and i decided to maybe just go ahead and try to come out here to a rural area. I was gonna do a little bit of a testing on the suspension that I installed on Sandy, but I wanted to take advantage of this uh, time to maybe put the awning to the test. So let's see if I can set it up on my own. Um, it's gonna be a little awkward since it is my first time doing this on my own. So here we go. And I hope that drone noise is not too, too nasty there. Here we go. So it's got some straps right here. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> There's the first one right there for you. So the instructions are you bring this out. Unfortunately, I'm vertically challenged. And so you, it's got these two little arms right here and you just swing them out like so off to the sides after you do that continue to roll this out just like that there we go there we go and it's got a couple of legs right here that is nice i did not plan on doing that let me see here ah. See here, these things, they twist like so. And uh, so let's bring that here. 
Guys, please be cool with me because this is obviously not the way it was supposed to go down. But you know me, I'll keep it real, real stupid. All right. So these things, they just insert right here. They twist and they stay put, okay? And I think what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to keep some sort of tension on these things right here. It's the same situation with this one. It's got a little hole where they go in there. And then once you put it in there, you twist it once again. Got this thing going on right here. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit to make it easier to install the other thingy, the other arm, the other brace. There we go. Man, I really turned this into a, something that's harder, <laughs> harder than it's supposed to be, but this is real life, man. This is the way it goes. Anyway, I'm putting it right here and then I'm gonna twist it once it has that tension, just like so. Then I can go ahead and uh, start using these little straps. It's got some Velcro, Velcro straps right here. You see? Little Velcro straps. Nobody said this was going to be graceful, man. Nobody said this was going to be a graceful tutorial. But you know what? It's a realistic tutorial. I think all the little, little Velcro straps are on. And you see what it has. It comes with these, uh, comes with these, uh, 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 tether ropes, little, little ropes that go to the corners of the canopy of this, uh, of the awning, I'm sorry. And um, you can just pretty much tie these down. There's no wind out right now, but a lot of times you're in a windy situation, you're going to want to have something like this to uh, protect it. So once you have this right here, huh? I think that's pretty good. It all depends. I guess you can adjust the height. Um, what I notice is that some people have, uh, oh, see, I forgot, forgot to do one more over here. This one came loose and I forgot to do one strap right here. But anyway, I guess not too bad for being the first time using this thing, uh, but it kind of gives you an idea of how it goes up, how it's set up. This arm, it could stand to get a more of a stretch right there. Kind of put some tension, kind of put some pressure on this outer edge right here. Let me see here. And of course you want to keep these things kind of uh kind of tight but man this is pretty neat this is pretty neat so let me show you let me show you what i'm talking about with this camera perhaps these are the straps these are the little holes right there that i was talking about okay it has one two three four five one, two, three, four, five, five on each side. And of course it has this, this uh, light LED light strip right here. That's pretty neat. It connects to your 
cigarette lighter inside of the vehicle, but there could be other options. Maybe if you have some sort of little power station or a <clears throat> little power brick or some, something like along those lines where you could just connect it right there. But it's really neat because everything is contained into this really neat, lightweight uh, awning, this little tube right here. <clears throat> and it used to be where I would have to, I would have to uh, go ahead and have this full setup, and uh, it used to be kind of difficult because to set up a, a, a 10 by 10 canopy on your own, well, that's going to be a little difficult sometimes, um, especially when you're dealing with it out at the at the beach. But I'm looking forward to using this once the. They lift the, the beach restrictions and we can get back out there and have some fun. Or I don't know, maybe I can, we can just go to North Texas with my buddies and, and uh, we can have some good times over there as well and put this to the test. Anyway, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your patience. I am not the best at these tutorials, but I kind of try to bring you some realistic uh, point of view not perfect and this is the way it goes anyway hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff get up get out do something